Hi guys, quick um, 20 minutes Pilates for abs and some arm work too. So hopefully you guys will join me in this and enjoy <laughs> strengthening. So we're gonna start um, seated. I'm gonna have the ring. If you don't have a ring, not a big deal. You can put a cushion, pillow, you can put like a basketball or something like a soccer ball or something like that. But if you have the ring, we're gonna use it. Otherwise, you're just gonna imagine there's a force there in between and you're gonna be squeezing that. Arms are gonna be out and you're gonna be pulling the ring. So we're gonna start drawing the navel in, pull your pelvic floor up all the way up and just keep squeezing through the glutes and the hip flexors and the belly. So you go for eight, seven, six, five, get stronger here, four, three, two, and then we lean back and we hug in and pull up a little bit deeper. Glutes are strong here as we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll go all the way down to the back and we're gonna to try to keep that navel in, draw the pelvic floor up, shoulders back and down. And we're gonna reach the shoulders as far back from the wrists as we possibly can. And we're gonna keep hugging the ring for eight, seven, keep that pelvic floor strong, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bringing everything up. We know again, hug in through the belly, pelvic floor strong. You really wanna keep that nice and strong at the waist. And we hug in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This time the ring will go between the ankles. Again, if you don't have anything, a ring, don't worry about it. Just squeeze those legs like this, something in between, imaginary force, okay? So you're gonna squeeze through the inner thighs, pull the pelvic floor in and up. Everything is nice and strong. I'm gonna reach the right hand through, left hand behind the head. I'm gonna reach through, but you're pumping your belly down. So you're pushing down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep pushing. One, two, three three, squeeze those legs, four, five, glutes have to six, seven, little stronger here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna switch hands, bring one hand back, the other hand through, and press straight down for one, two, three, four, five, keep pulling, six, seven, everything strong, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more set, pull it in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two hands behind the head, you're gonna keep pumping the belly in as you pull the ring in, one, press up, two, press up, three, keep that sacrum anchored, four, zip everything up, five, Press, six, press, seven, everything strong in the belly, and eight, hold it in, tap it down. We go one, pull, two, pull, three, pull it in, four, really zip that all up, five, six, everything strong, seven, and eight, beautiful. Take the ring, bring that head down. You're gonna bring the ring against the left knee, bring your right elbow against the ring, both hands behind the head. Leg is gonna be up. You're pushing down on the belly as you pull your thigh toward your elbow, elbow toward your thigh. Here we go. It's one, two, three, neck relaxed, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Go a little stronger, one, two, three, hug in deeper, four, five, six, seven, and eight, go again, one, two, hug it in, three, four, five, six, really draw it in, seven, and eight, let's switch sides, you're going to bring that ring to the thigh, other thigh, elbow to knee, we'll pull it all in, bring the hand back, and press down on the belly, we go one, two, three, press the leg against the arm, arm against the leg, five, six, seven, again, get stronger, one, squeeze it in, two, three, hug deep, four, five, push that elbow ring, six, seven, and again, for one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. You're going to go ahead and bring the ring right up to the chest here, above the chest. Pull the shoulders back. Don't let those shoulders come up off the floor. Just keep pulling them back. Hug the legs together and squeeze the ring for eight, seven, six. Keep this working. Four, three, two. Belly ring strong. Go up over one, two, three. Keep those shoulders down. Four, five. Arms strong. Six, seven. Go a little further over if you can for one. Keep the shoulders down. Two, three, four, five. Ribs down. Six, seven. Back up for one, two. Arms strong. Three, four, five, six. Right up above the chest, we go one, two, three, legs strong, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna bring the legs up, keep the belly nice and strong. I'm gonna bring the ring over the head as one leg goes out, and then bring it in. You wanna squeeze your side ribs, front ribs, navel, pelvic floor, shoulders down the back. Ready, here we go. It's one, big stretch, squeeze it all in. Two, squeeze the glutes, two. Three, straight and strong arms. Four, neck is long. Five, low belly's active. Six, nice and strong. Seven, you can keep doing that the next set of eight, or both legs, both arms. We go one. Squeeze that low back down. Two, arms super strong. Three, pull. Four, pull. Five, pull. Squeeze it in. Six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. Bring the legs straight down, arms up overhead, or roll up. You know, Curl up your head, your neck, and you're gonna bring your neck over your chest. Chest comes up over your waist, waist comes up over your hips. Scoop the belly in, lift the pelvic floor, and bring your hips over your thighs. Pause and pull the shoulders back and squeeze back down so that your hips go down, then your waist, then your chest, then your neck, and your head, heels together, glutes active. We come up, head, neck, chest, waist, hips, squeeze, shoulders back, go back, two, three, and four. Squeeze the ring with the inside of the arms, inside of legs pulling, squeeze the belly, come forward, and we're gonna pulse for three. Suck the belly in, two, and one, Go back, down one vertebrae at a time, get that waist down, <sighs> stretch. Everything is long and good articulation through your spine. Scoop the belly in, shoulders back, three, squeeze the legs, two, and one, and we'll go back, and one more time, you guys. Come all the way up, squeeze the belly, two, three, and we pulse up one, two and three. Stack everything up, open through the legs. Okay, so we're gonna bring the ring down in front here if you have it, if not, arms just straight out like that. Okay, so not a big deal. You're gonna try to get your legs a little wider than your mat, squeeze the belly in, pull up your pelvic floor. That is the key to the saw, the navel in. So your low belly, low back, sandwich together, and your glutes lift up. So you're pressing down on the ring for eight, seven, six, use the waist, five, four, three, Hold that right arm on the ring. Left arm's gonna go out to the side for one, two, three. Keep squeezing, four, legs strong, five, six, seven. Other side, bring it down, and we bring it out to the side. Keep everything strong and hugged in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring that all right back in. Bring the ring out to the side. I'm gonna twist to one side, squeeze the waist, pull forward, two and three, come right back up, shoulders nice and strong, rotate, squeeze and reach for one, two and three. 
come right back up. You're picking up that pelvic floor. You're twisting and reaching into the navel as you dive down and then lift everything back up. Articulate your spine. Twist, pull, two, then three. Come right back up, open up through the chest. Squeeze the belly for one, two, then three. Come right back up. And last one, you guys, squeeze through the belly for one, two, then three. Beautiful, release that down. Now, if you guys have weights, you're gonna use the weights here. You don't have to. We're gonna be doing this on our knees, um, coming up into this position, squeezing through the legs, belly is in, pelvic floor strong. You don't have to use weights at all, but if you have them, go for it. We're just gonna come up for three sets of eight, two, keep those shoulders strong, neck relaxed, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and we'll have one front, one side, one, every time, two, three, four, keep the shoulders active, five, bellies in, six, seven, and the other side, for one, two, three, four, five, again, you can do this without weights, six, seven, and eight. We'll come down on hands and knees. And again, if you have the weights, you're gonna still use them. If not, not a worry. You're gonna have your right leg out, left arm goes out to the side for one. Tap, two, tap, keep the core strong, three. Neck relaxed, four, keep going. You're absorbing everything, low belly, low back and buttocks. Seven, and then we'll just pulse it for one, two, back of the shoulder, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring that down and try the other side for one. Tap, two, tap, three, tap, four, tap, five, six, seven, and pulse it for one. Sit strong, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And this one's from Maureen. She reminded me to use the ring today for our planks and our push-ups. Ring under the belly button, right? So you're gonna be in this position here, knees open, come into your plank for a high push-up position, pull the belly in and come down one. Whoops, crack, crack, crack. Sorry, let me get that right. Right at the navel. One, push, two, push, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. Keep that ring at the navel. Bird dog, one, pull, two, three, four, five. Nice and strong. Six, seven, and eight. Other side. One, two, Three, get strong in the waist. Four, keep drawing it in. Five, six, seven, and eight. And we'll come right down onto our side. Do this exercise here for the side body. Okay, bottom arm down, top arm comes up, and we lift it. One, two, right on the side. Three, work your waist. Four, Five, six, keep squeezing here. Seven and eight, beautiful. We'll come right over to the other side and work it on this side. Okay, so this bottom arm comes down and this top arm comes up and we lift up one, you got it. Two, straight leg, three, it's my weaker side. Four, oh yeah, five, hardly get up there now. Six, you guys do it. Seven, little injury there. And eight, that's all right. You did good. All right, so we're gonna bring those forearms down, stretch through the chest, push the shoulders back, lift through the belly, and elongate your spine. So again, you guys wanna stay nice and strong through the core, suck the navel in as you stretch. 
lift up nice and tall turn your chin over one way turn your chin the other way if you're able to you go up even higher for three two and one come down four child's pose stretch our final stretch here let's release again you want to start by sitting back so get your legs to stretch back get your heels to your bottom try not to get your butt to come up when you do the next part keep it down there and just stretch and elongate your chest and your torso try not to round your back try to get your waist long front of the waist sides and back as we come down and we breathe and keep elongating and getting a really nice stretch here And bring both arms all the way over to one side of your yoga mat as far as you can and elongate the front and the sides keeping your bottom down and doing the same on the other side just go as far as you can get that nice stretch over very good and coming up placing your hands on your hips and pull your hips straight down okay so you're gonna really encourage those hips to come straight down come over so this hip is pulling down and stretch over as far as you can okay so both hips are really pulling down you just keep your hand on this hip to stretch it down as well and then we'll come right here and pull both hips down and again keeping that hip pulling down as well as this one where your hand is Okay, so ideally you want to keep stretching that hip down as much as you can sometimes it'll want to pop up and just go 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 for three two and one get your elbow back nice little shoulder stretch here pull it over to the side same on the other side pull that right over great job having a nice easy seat right here just a quick stretch or the neck just pull that chin up turn the chin over okay so you just kind of make sure that the chin's not dropping down just pull it over not too aggressively just kind of like a little chin turn now the other hand goes on the shoulder here now you can also put your hand at the side of the face or wherever you want to or the top of the head and pull it across just breathe into it and then do the same on the other side so just gonna be pulling over and making sure that that shoulder goes back again the hand can stay there or there or reach over great make nice little circles here just releasing any kinks from the neck and the other way shoulders circle back keep those shoulder blades relaxed stretch upper back and come into center nice job you guys keep it up